Hey everybody, what's going on? What's going on? All right, so I'm back, y'all, with another video. We're gonna take, um, we're gonna use the Moonology Oracle cards. Get a full moon message for the full moon and Pisces energy that occurred last night. All right, so this is a collective read, so it may or may not resonate with you. All right, so if it does not resonate with you, check your moon and your rising signs and make it a message there. All right, so give me a message for the collective, okay? Give me a message for the collective. Oh, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. You are good enough. I feel like, um, because we got new moon eclipse at the bottom of the deck, which is expect powerful change. I've been seeing 555 a whole lot. So changes are definitely on the horizon. Okay. If some of you have been seeing the number 555, type 555 in the comment section below. But I definitely do feel like it. Um, a lot of you guys are or need to make some type of changes in your uh, being self-aware of yourself, your confidence level, um, balancing out your emotions, getting rid of things that no longer serve you here. Okay, we got full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Lots of green here and earth energy. Lots of earth energy. So I'm getting like being grounded. Okay, so this full moon energy could definitely be trying to get your attention and trying to find balance and being grounded. All right, so tell me more. Give me another card. All right, new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. All right, so some of you are still holding on to a past situation. We got don't let your past hold you back. Some of you are still holding on to a situation from the past. It could definitely have something to do in love. Um, and now spirit is pushing you forward to make these changes okay to make these changes and uh look at yourself like you're good enough just because the situation did not work out in the past it doesn't mean you shouldn't let it dictate your future okay spirit is saying let's come up with a practical plan even if you need to write those ideas down on paper okay maybe some of you need to write what you don't want on paper and burn it let it let it out in the universe release it Okay, and then come up with a completely new plan. Okay, a completely new plan. Full moons are about releasing. Okay, now we have you're very close to achieving your goals. Okay, spirit is wanting you to take a look at your dreams. Okay, now we have have faith in your dreams. Spirit is wanting you to look at your goals, your dreams. Um, things that you want to do or have been holding back on. Now is the time to get rid of the things that no longer serve you um, is a distraction from you achieving your goals. Okay. We also have the energy. The energy is gaining momentum. Ooh. Okay. All right. We got work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. Meditate and contemplate. All right. Some of you guys need to go ahead and take some time out to meditate and write those things down. There's things that need to be. There's things that need to be written down. Spirit is confirming. Spirit is saying, look, it's time to work through those fears. A situation in the past didn't work out. That does not, you shouldn't let that determine your self-worth, okay? At all. There's a goal that you need to be focusing on. There is a goal that you need to be working on, working towards. Um, and when you begin to work towards that goal, it's going to gain so much momentum, 
okay? And you're going to realize, look, hey, I can do this. I can work through my fears. I have fears of not being able to achieve this or where am I going to go after this situation didn't work. Spirit is saying work through those fears, okay? Give me one more card. Confidence is your key to success, okay? Okay, baby. You got to be confident, okay? Don't let your pride get in the way either. Lots of Leo energy. Leo energy. I'm getting earth and fire here. All right, so let's get a few more messages. And then I'm going to let you guys go. All right, so... We got the Wisdom of the House of the Night Oracle cards here. We're going to get a few messages from this Oracle deck. All right. What does the collective possibly need to let go? What does the collective possibly need to let go of? We got understanding, obedience. And the high priestess of water. That's Pisces is energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. Spirit is saying, listen. Spirit wants you to listen to something. Okay. Spirit wants you to pay attention to something that a situation needs to end. There's a conclusion. It's like the end. A situation has ended. Okay, because it was it was rigid. The situation was rigid. Okay. Spirit wants you to understand that and, and just come to that realization. Okay. These emotions, there's lots of emotions tied into this situation. Confidence. Spirit wants you to be confident. High priestess of air. Okay. I want you to Think more logically instead of um, with your emotions at this time. The Queen of Swords energy, um, well, the High Priestess of Air, that's kind of like the Queen of Swords energy. She's very logical, okay? She can accept the truth of the situation. This situation that you were in is was keeping you trapped anyway, okay? It was keeping you trapped, Break free from this situation from the past. It no longer serves you. All right, so we got a message. So it looks like a message is coming in. We got high priestess of, of fire here at the bottom of the deck here. It could be a fire sign coming in to uh, bring some type of message to you. I want to clarify a few of these cards. What is understanding here? Yeah, understand that this situation that you possibly are currently in or trying to get away from is a burden. Is it does not it does it's not for you. It's a burden. Okay. Spirit wants you to manifest. Look at this. The magician and the star. You can manifest something so beautiful. You can manifest something exactly that's specifically for you. You can manifest yourself being a star, okay? This situation here is burdensome, okay? It's like they're giving you a choice. What do you want? Your confidence. Someone could also, I'm seeing this, this is just a side note. I'm seeing that someone could find out that they are pregnant, okay, as well. But this could be a birth of a new beginning, a new beginning in your confidence, a new beginning in how you value, how you look at yourself. Okay. Now we got obedience. We got the strength card here. So you could be dealing with definitely a fire sign, a Leo. The three of swords. There could have been definitely been a third party involving this situation. I feel like this, for a lot of you, this is a love connection that involves a third party. Somebody may be needing to get a divorce. We got the high, Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. That's definitely like a divorce or a separation. 
Yeah, the six of swords and the world. Somebody needs to get a divorce before they jump into another connection here with the two of cups and the fool. Okay, so there, it looks like there could possibly be a third party in this situation. This situation is going to cause nothing but drama and weigh you down. Okay, now we got the high priestess of water. Knight of wands. These are feelings and emotions. Could be a water sign involved, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a water sign. Um, this is like temporary emotion. Somebody is, we got the devil and the ace of wands. Okay, this is sex. This is very much so sexual energy. So somebody's tying somebody in. Maybe maybe you guys were dealing with someone um, sexually and the situation ended up being temporary. Could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. But you may have found out that this person could have been in a relationship or a marriage or in a situation long term. Here's this Queen of Cups again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell me why the Knight of Wands is here. Uh, you could have feel like you got played, okay? The judgment jumped out, okay? It looks like a final decision or somebody had a wake-up call. You are coming to some type of realization that this situation was, you know, in and out. It was, it wasn't, it's not, it's going to be a burden more so of anything else. All right. You could be spying on this person or this person is spying on you. Somebody's not happy and somebody also is having regrets. Um, someone here wants to get pregnant. Someone wants to get pregnant. I keep seeing that. Why is the judgment here? temperance yeah i feel like this is your energy you could be trying to find balance you are waking up to the situation you're you're trying to find balance okay and i feel like a lot of you know that it is time to close this chapter it is time to close this chapter it is time for some of you there needs to be a separation or a divorce okay now we got confidence look at that Look at that, the nine of pentacles. Spirit wants you to step into your power. Okay, step into your power. Some of you may need to block um, an individual. Could be a king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Some of you guys need to block this person because this person comes with the tower energy. Okay, this is going to, this is like a disaster waiting to happen around the corner. Okay, spirit is wanting you to focus on yourself, your self worth. Okay, now we got the High Priestess of Air. Okay, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius could be spying on you. Somebody is saying something about some give, giving somebody a choice or somebody here has some options. Why is the Page of Swords here? The Page of Wands. Now, so communication. Yeah, okay, so... Somebody wants to communicate with you. Somebody has been watching you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, this energy. They want to They want to speak to you. Possibly about uh, someone walking away from a situation. The truth. Somebody wants some, some answers. Now we got a message. Now this message could be coming from this Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Hierophant. Could be a Taurus involved. Somebody is needs to make a decision. We got the two of swords and the lovers. Somebody has to make a decision in love. Okay. A decision has to be made. It's like the time has come. A decision has to be made with this two of swords and the lovers. Okay. Why is the hierophant here? The death card. Somebody needs to get a divorce or separate. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. <clears throat> we got the magician. Look at this. I tell you, um, we got the sun and the empress. Definitely. Somebody wants to have a baby. But maybe they feel like they can't because someone's still stuck in a situation that they haven't fully walked away from. King of Pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, like I said, someone definitely could be married. Okay, or already in a commitment. Okay. Mm. 
Yeah, somebody is constantly trying um, to end a situation. Someone on, on one end is trying to close the chapter in this situation because somebody is feeling like it's not fruitful, okay? And somebody here is also having regrets about a connection that fell apart, okay? Somebody's having regrets about a connection that fell apart. All right, so that's the message that I have for you guys. Um, if this message resonated with you, be sure to let me know what's going on in the comment section below. As well, guys, share with your family and your friends. And I will chat with y'all on a later date. All right, ciao for now.